People, like many living creatures on our planet, are very dependent on light. For example, many diurnal birds see very poorly in the dark. Some animals feel bewildered and freeze, and a person, a person could crash into something or catch their little toe on their nightstand. In general, living without light is almost impossible. It's no coincidence that mankind has come up with various lighting sources from torches to energy-saving lamps. But what if an unknown catastrophe occurred and the whole world suddenly went black? Just for 10 seconds. But what if that's enough time for something irreversible to happen? Small spoiler, most likely, even in such a short period of time, many terrible things could happen. But let's take them one at a time. But first, when we think about all-consuming darkness, the first thing that comes to mind is Raid Shadow Legends, perhaps the darkest and most epic fantasy game in the entire multiverse, which is also the sponsor of this video. Use the links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. What I like most about it are incredibly crafted and well-detailed champions, the spectacular battles, and the total cross-platform ability allowing you to play on both a smartphone and a PC under the same account. These are just some of the advantages of Raid over all others. Gather a unique team of champions, upgrade them, and engage in epic battles against 10 different bosses to get cool rewards and rare artifacts. Join clans, fight with players from all over the world in the PvP arena. Exciting tournaments with valuable rewards await you. Do battle in the Spider's Den, the Ice Golem's Peak, and Fire Knight castle or against the infamous dragon and show the whole raid community what you are worth. Also, in May, version 1.15 is coming. It will include a completely new arena tournament, earn points according to your tier, and win awesome rewards in the local and global tournament. So, what are you waiting for? If you're new to the game, install Raid on your mobile phone or PC, follow the link in the description, and get 100,000 silver and one new free Grumbler champion. First, you need to determine the cause of the universal blackout, because this plays a key role. Do we blame the sun? Was there a global electrical outage? Did aliens intervene? Okay, aliens are overkill. So let's start with the simplest possible explanation. Although unlikely, electricity all around the world suddenly goes out. From a practical point of view, this is hardly possible, since power plants are independent of one another, and there are also emergency sources of energy. But let's imagine that the world's electricity suddenly vanished. Batteries in phones, flashlights too, for some reason, have also failed. None of it works at all. Yes, this sounds like a small technological apocalypse, but it's necessary for our experiment. So, there's no electricity. Not a single battery works. About half of the planet has plunged into darkness. The other half may not even notice what has happened. The natural light of the sun could hide the lack of electricity. Yes, computers, refrigerators, and other equipment would turn off. Trolley buses, trams, and electric trains would stop. Traffic lights would stop working. The internet would disappear. But this all would last only 10 seconds. Even patients on life support systems wouldn't experience irreversible consequences. Most people would likely write off what happened as a small accident and continue with what they were doing. Though we can't say the same for those in the dark zone. When your apartment lights are out in the evening, you can still look out into the street and distinguish objects, even if there is no electricity in the entire area. This is because, in principle, it's quite light in cities due to the large number of lights, even if they're far away. But then the electricity goes completely out and darkness sets in. Of course, it's not pitch black, like inside some closet in a basement. There are natural sources of illumination other than the sun. 
comets, auroras, atmospheric electric discharges, the glow of living organisms, the light of stars and other space objects. Even the oxidation of organic products and minerals emits faint lighting. There are a lot of luminous objects on our planet and beyond. Let this thought reassure you a little. But one moment everything was in order, then suddenly all common sources of lighting stopped. Most likely, the people who are indoors wouldn't even have enough time to feel afraid, which cannot be said about those on the street, or worse, those who are driving. The number of accidents that would occur during these 10 seconds of relative darkness could be calculated in the thousands. I don't even want to think about how many people could die in these 10 seconds. And although these 10 seconds of darkness would likely become, for many, 10 seconds of horror and panic, we could admire the stunningly beautiful starry sky, which is, by the way, almost impossible in the 21st century. For the planet, it's unlikely that something would change in these 10 seconds without electricity. But what if the cause of darkness was the sun? A sudden solar eclipse is, of course, impossible. Scientists know exactly where, when, and for how long the moon will cover the sun. And even today, there are schedules calculated for a century ahead. Or even more, it's believed that the longest solar eclipse of this millennium will be the solar eclipse of July 16th, 2186. It will last 7 minutes and 29 seconds. But even in the event of a total solar eclipse, we can still see the stellar corona, the halo of rarefied ionized gas that surrounds the sun. And although it emits light, this is clearly not enough to be considered a full-fledged light source. But to plunge at least half of the Earth into darkness, you'd need a celestial body of a much larger size than the Moon. For example, something like Venus. Suppose Venus approached the Earth at the same distance as the Moon is now, or that the Moon grew to the size of Venus. Let's try to ignore all the catastrophic consequences of this change and focus only on the eclipse. So, a huge shadow completely obscures the sun and covers half the globe. In 10 seconds, while the eclipse lasts, the temperature could drop by about 3 degrees Celsius or about 5.4 Fahrenheit. The wind speed would also decrease, but people wouldn't likely be affected by any of this. But out in the wilderness, short-term changes would indeed occur. During solar eclipses, animals often begin acting differently than usual. Squirrels, for example, return to their nests, and the chirping of diurnal birds ceases. Even crickets are silent. So, finding yourself in complete darkness somewhere outside the city, you would also hear complete silence. But only for 10 seconds, then everything would go back to normal again. You wouldn't even have time to freeze. And now let's move on to a really frightening scenario. Imagine that the Earth was plunged into darkness due to the fact that the sun went out. From a scientific point of view, this cannot happen suddenly and just like that. You cannot turn off a star like a table lamp. But still, suppose that for 10 seconds, the sun went out and stopped shining. Just like that, without any additional space disasters. What would happen to our planet during this time? Without light and heat, everything around would surely die out in seconds. But stop, don't panic. Firstly, don't think that a new ice age would instantly begin everywhere. It takes about a week for the average global temperature of the planet to drop below 17 degrees Celsius, or 62.6 Fahrenheit. This means that such a short time period without sunlight wouldn't do much harm to the Earth. Most likely, even the most finicky planets wouldn't suffer, but humanity would be overwhelmed with intense panic. 
perhaps the strongest in history. Some lucky people would experience this blink of the sun in the late evening or at night. Most likely, they wouldn't notice the difference at all. Yes, due to the lack of light from the sky, the moon would disappear because it doesn't shine on its own, but only reflects the sun's rays. But in the night darkness, this could be easily attributed to some clouds. People wouldn't even notice. A completely different story would await those who just a second ago were enjoying the blue sky, morning rain, or were in the middle of a productive day. Suddenly, the whole world would plunge into darkness. It would become so dark that some would probably think they've gone blind. Imagine, one second you're calmly observing the area in front of you. Then a second later, you can't see anything at all. General panic would cover half the globe. Imagine metro passengers rising from the ground and seeing that the world on the surface had suddenly darkened. What do you think? How many panicked people would immediately decide that the end of time had come and they needed to be saved? I wouldn't want to be somewhere in the middle of the crowd at this moment. Perhaps small city administrations could orient themselves and turn on the lights, but most of the planet would remain dark. Animals and birds would surely be very surprised. But all of this most likely wouldn't affect their lives. Though for a long time, people would remember the sudden extinguishing of the sun, research the phenomenon, and create theories. How could such an event happen? Well, that's a conversation for another time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and click on the bell to receive notifications of new, interesting videos that are waiting for you ahead.